Today's apartment is on the market for $2,500. In Back Bay, that gets you a small one bedroom with a sandwich. In Brighton, that gets you three bedrooms, one bathroom, a kitchen with a separate dining room, a living room, a sunroom, and a deck, brand new paint, and refinished floors. Hold on tight, we're going to Brighton. Oh! We are in the neighborhood called Brighton, which was named after a city in England. We are about a 15 minute drive to downtown Boston and 11 minute bike ride to Cambridge. We're on Washington Street, which has, which is only five minute walk from the apartment. So on Washington Street, you have a lot of restaurants, you have bars, barbershops, salons, everything. You could get a lot of bang for your buck in Brighton. It has some of the lowest rents in all of Boston. It is known for its young crowd, a lot of college students, and a lot of young professionals. Companies have been moving here. Um, New Balance has put their headquarters here. Roach and Bose is also here. The practice facilities for the Celtics and the Bruins are is also in Brighton. And Brighton is big, so it has its own sub neighborhoods, and we're near Oak Square. Ready? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Before we head up, I'm a realtor in the Boston metro area. My contact information is below. If you're looking to rent somewhere or buy or sell your property, I can help you out. Make sure to like this video. Please subscribe to the channel. Let's carry on with the tour. You are on the second floor, but you are on the top floor. There's no one living above you, which is great because you're not gonna hear anyone walking above you. So no noisy neighbors above you, but you can be that neighbor for the people below. You're finally the person you hate. I'm, I'm just kidding, don't do that. The living area is 12 and a half feet by 13 feet, four inches. Isn't this apartment beautiful? It's grand, it's large, it's spacious, it's 1100 square feet. There's plenty of room to live with two or three other people here. So I've been in here before when there was tenants, they had a nice setup with couches here and they would put the TV right over here. You also have great light coming in from these two windows. That's the view guys. There is on street parking and every time I've been here, I've been here a few times now. I've never had any problem finding parking. This is the sunroom here. So you can do a bunch of different things here. You can use this as a storage if you like. You can almost have your own garden up here. Put a couple pieces of furniture, use it as a hangout spot. And I know it's not sunny, but with all the light that's already coming in, if it's sunny, you could probably even tan in here. The landlord recently repainted the whole apartment and redid the wood floors. That's so important to me because it shows that the landlord really does care about the property. And I do know this landlord and he really is very hands-on and able to maintain the apartments. If you're looking for an apartment, a plus is also having a good landlord and this guy is one of them. But these floors look amazing though. I feel like I can play basketball on these. Stepping from the living room into the dining area. You have enough space to put in a huge table. Then you have this awesome chandelier to add to the character of this apartment. And this could be helpful too. You have these built-in shelves right in the dining room. Just more storage, which is always good. This apartment has a lot of storage, which is always a plus. Now we're in my favorite room of all apartments, the kitchen. There's enough room for a whole restaurant to cook in here. Continuing with the theme of storage space, we have amazing cabinet space in the kitchen. I actually really like these cabinets personally. And we also have a stainless steel dishwasher, a full-size fridge, and a gas stove. And guess what? It works. Also in the kitchen, you have this door, which will lead you out to the deck. 
Let's go. This is a decent sized outdoor space. It's your own. You're not sharing it with anyone. It's got a roof. Come out here, have your breakfast, have some coffee, read a book, study. Let's head back inside. Again, continuing with the storage theme. Between the dining room area here and the kitchen, we have this nice pantry space. Look at all that storage. And there's even a window in here too. Guys, there is plenty of windows, plenty of lighting, plenty of storage in this apartment. A lot of space. Honestly, the longer I'm in here, the more I like it. And now we are in the bathroom. And you won't believe what's in the bathroom, an actual window. So many apartments and so many homes don't have a window in the bathroom, which is insane to me. This one has one. I don't have to explain why it'd be a good idea to have a window in your bathroom, but it has one. And this bathroom would not fit the theme of this apartment if it didn't have storage. Here we go. Look at that. You can put your towels, your toilet paper, cleaning supplies, all in this closet. So there's the kitchen. Here's the bathroom. And then here's the bedroom. One of them at least. The size of this bedroom is about 12 and a half by 11 feet. There is plenty of space for a queen mattress. To help visualize what a queen mattress might look like in here, this is the length of a queen mattress. So you easily have enough space to fit a queen mattress in here. A quick look at the closet. Okay, and now we're back at the front of the apartment. This is the living area that we saw earlier. And then here's one bedroom and the second bedroom and we're gonna go into that bedroom. And this bedroom is slightly smaller. So it is 12 and a half by nine and a half feet. Here is what a queen, the length of a queen would look like here. Aren't these floors beautiful? But yes, there's plenty, you have plenty of space left over to have the queen size bed in here. And let's go check out the closet. It is a pretty deep closet. I can fit in here at least. Oh, oh. And you have this to hang your clothes. Okay, and this is the third bedroom. It's not officially a bedroom, but in the past, it has been rented as a third bedroom. And if you're not gonna use it as a bedroom, you can definitely use it as a room for your office. You can do all your Zoom calls or Zoom classes in here. I guess you could call it a Zoom room. Did anyone did anyone make that up yet? Did I, did I just coin that? A Zoom room? That extra space in the apartment that might not be big enough for your bedroom. Let's start calling the office space in a home a Zoom room. So the dimensions of this room are nine feet, nine inches by eight and a half feet. So it's gonna be a tight squeeze to have a queen in here. Um, your queen might not clear the door. I think if you were to fit a queen in here, you wouldn't be able to open the door all the way. But I think it is possible to fit a queen in here. If this was your first time watching one of my videos, I upload a new video every single week. So I have more tours right here that you can check out. Please subscribe to the channel and like this video. If you're looking for an apartment or trying to sell or buy a house, my information is in the description below. So that concludes our tour for today. Let me know what you thought in the comments. You're gonna get a lot of bang for your buck here.